From a huge MCC update to a new probe and added to the Halo Infinite team. We have a lot to talk about. What's up crows? Skirko here with Abstract Gaming bringing you another Halo related video today guys. In this one we're going to talk about some huge changes to MCC as well as a new addition to the pro team for Halo Infinite. The first addition to MCC are some new playlists. First one has been called Head Pop Party, which is a SWAT based game mode. But now when you get those awesome kill tech headshots, you get a cool grunt birthday party sound effect, making it all more worthwhile, guys. Go make sure you hit those heads and hear those awesome grunt birthday party audio scenes. Next is the Yappening War Games. It is a Fiesta variant, but now instead of just random weapons, you also spawn with a random HUD element missing. So you could possibly not have your health, not have your shields, not have your weapons and stuff showing. It's going to be insane, guys. Third is Brute Shoot. It, first of all, before now, Halo 2 did not have a bottomless clip until now. Like it was added later on but now they have a brute shots only bottomless clip and guys that sounds absolutely insane fourth is methane mosh pit it is a king of the hill mode but the hill is stationary now and while you're inside the hill like there's low gravity and you spawn with a needler and it's halo 2 so you spawn you can pick up dual needlers also with bottomless clips which is honestly needed for halo 2 because it has obviously one of the worst needlers in the halo franchise but i can only imagine playing that king to the hill on h2 class it's gonna be insane next is yap yaps ball drop which is a oddball mode but now players can launch themselves and their opponents around the arena with rocket launchers so it's going to be a <laughs> explosive oddball which i don't think we've had anything like that we've had similar rocket launcher game modes but nothing like that lastly it is beamish bonanza which is a big team invisible low gravity swat vehicle fiesta mode oh my goodness dude this is the first time i've heard about this one this sounds insane Players have no shields, but have active camo. Players spawn with a BR and a random secondary weapon. The vehicle set is randomized. Players do still appear on radar. So that appears to be the best way to keep track of them. Guys, that sounds insane. It's big team, 8v8, low gravity. It's SWAT with vehicle fiesta mode. Dude, that sounds insane. Guys, don't try out some of these modes. It sounds like it's going to be quite insane. I don't know how long the Yap Yap game modes are going to be up. So make sure to take advantage of this. And they've added two new nameplates to kind of uh, celebrate this. The first one is Yap Yap the Destroyer. Which you unlock by completing seven social matches using the game category The Yappening. In game size 4v4 and or 8v8. The next nameplate is a, a campaign related nameplate and is unlocked by getting 250 headshots on grunts on heroic or higher in campaign and or Spartan Ops. So it's not just a Halo 2 uh, campaign. It is any one of them. Just go get those headshots, 250 grunts, and you should unlock the Shut Your Yap nameplate. Alright guys, the last news is, well actually before we get to the Halo Infant news, they have added new loading screens into all the games that show a lot more detail from the map name, primary starting weapon, the time limit, score to win, gamer tags in session, loading states, data center hosting dedicated server of match, so you know if you got a close dedicated server to you or not, depending on which one you're close to game type and description 
more tools related to what you're using and also guys even a campaign loading screen we don't go into too much of that detail but make sure to go and check out this if you've not played mcc in the last week go and make sure you get everything updated but guys the last news is a new halo pro has been added to the halo infinite team you may know him as l town that is also his twitter handle but Vizel, or Vizel, I don't know how you fully pronounce it, has finally been added to the pro team. Working on Halo Infinite, giving the creators info and, and helping them tweak it so that we can get a fantastic game. But also, over the week, we learned that this is going to be the highest ever created game, especially the highest Halo, with a $500 million budget guys so it's gonna be insane hopefully they that that doesn't even include marketing so it's 500 million production cost and it's going to be insane and i can't wait to finally get to see more at e3 guys hopefully you guys are excited too comment down below which pro do you think needs to be added to the halo infinite team if i had to pick i would say probably pistola would be my number one pick but guys, I think this will be the perfect time to end the video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're one of the first ones to know exactly when we upload. Share with your friends if they're into Halo or other gaming discussions. And guys, like always, God bless. And don't forget to like.